You just knew that you were not alone in that room. Like, you guys just saw my battle wounds. Like, I swear to God. Previously on my channel. It's basically just quick change. It's basically its name. There's honestly been times back here in quick change where I have barely made it back onto the stage. It can get very... Oh my god, good morning costellers. I have missed you so much. You have no idea. We're here in my vanity. Oh <laughs> First of all, hi. Miss you guys so much. Just got home from tour literally two days ago Still working on a schedule for you guys getting back in the routine of a real life not being on a tour bus for 35 days straight and not being on tour Which I miss so much, but we are going to talk about my ghost encounter. <sighs> Okay, let's start with the ghost story. So first of all, I'm sure all of you have seen Jake's ghost vlog. Bust out the Ouija board and uh, see if we can talk to Jeffrey Dahmer. Now, believe me or not, I swear to God on everything that I love that those encounters are not any way, shape, or form set up. Like everything you saw in that video was so real. What the f Yo. Like, I wish you guys could have been there and felt like the heaviness of every part of that pool area. Just good. I'm not doing it. I'm not Bing. doing it. Bing. Bing. No. You just knew that you were not alone in that room. So, a couple things about that. You can watch his vlog and see the whole thing. Bing. But I, that day, was convinced, like, Erica, you're gonna see a ghost. We're gonna find a ghost. Like, I'm all into scary stuff. I love, like, Ouija board stuff. I love just, like, adrenaline rushes in general. I just love the spiritual like ghost whatever you want to call it so the whole day I'm like this is so cool I'm so excited so in the back of my mind all day I'm like I'm gonna find a ghost I'm gonna see a ghost we're gonna be best friends ghost rule right after Sonny sees the ghost what the I didn't realize that you could see this of me on camera, but I literally felt like I could not move. And if you watch this next clip, you can literally kind of see me there just frozen. God, what the f go, 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 baby, holy f And I know it was like a brief clip, but like the feeling I had was that I couldn't move right away. It's a really bizarre feeling. Like I honestly don't even really know how to explain what I'm trying to say, but I just felt like I couldn't move. And I physically couldn't, as you just saw in that clip. Go, 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 baby. Hold. Moving forward to the next clip where everybody runs up the stairs and my dumb ass, for some reason, freezes again. And I'm just standing there with a Ouija board, like, looking. Oh my god. Yeah, I really can't. I really can't. What the f Erica, come on. And again, I don't realize I'm even doing this, like looking back on camera, but I felt like I couldn't move. If you look very closely in that clip, I'm gonna try to see if we can edit it so you can see there is like a face kind of like behind me in the door. Erica, come on. Erica. Whatever, I actually, my dumb ass again, everyone runs upstairs, I grab Chris and I'm like, Chris, I didn't see anything. Like, I didn't see anything. I, I don't wanna be done here. And I ran back up to where Sunny saw the ghost and literally was looking for it for like 10 seconds we had to go ran out whatever so then as if i wasn't already pushing my luck enough we played the ouija board in other rooms off camera some spirits did talk to us but like barely they didn't want to play and i didn't want to keep disturbing them but i was just like this is so cool like i love this shit and then the next thing happens like it's time to leave the venue the venue's closing and everyone goes to the buses right and i'm up in my dressing room which wasn't like a haunted area according to what the people at the venue told us but I was going to the bathroom I hear the loudest three knocks I've ever heard like boom 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 no but seriously guys like so loud it shook the entire door like there was this lock on the door and it like rattled it I opened the door right away maybe like three seconds later because I like jumped up nobody was there and I just froze like I just stood there probably a good five minutes and then finally I start like I, I get the courage to go look around at this point i'm saying all these things in my head like jake's gonna pop out around the corner blah 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 finally like after five minutes no movement no nothing i see across the hallway a guy sitting there like guarding the entrances to the dressing rooms i'm like did somebody come out of here like five minutes ago and he was like no i haven't seen anybody and then courtney like two minutes later comes upstairs i'm stood there frozen like frozen frozen like a freaking popsicle i'm like corny can you please go back there and see if like jake's under there she's like jake's on the bus like everybody's on the bus so i grab her hand and i go like check in the corner of like where i just ran out of nobody was there not anybody was upstairs in that dressing room it was me and one security guard that was like down the hallway the ghost knocked on my door y'all there was a freaking ghost so as if that wasn't already warning enough i'm like 
still want to see a ghost. So I got the Ouija board, like who's down? Like Courtney, Krista, Sunny, like let's play the Ouija board. Like I'm so cool, I want to see ghosts. I mean no. This part always gives me chills because I can't even begin to describe the way that I felt when this happened. So I go grab the Ouija board. I'm walking up a hill with Krista and Sunny and Jake's mom, Pam. Pamsters. Good afternoon, Pamsters. So if you're walking up a hill, right, it's obviously slow, like it takes force. If you were to trip up a hill, like you're not gonna trip very hard. At the top of the hill, was like this little brick. It was like, it separated the grass from over to the concrete where I was trying to go. Literally, I say to Krista and Sunny, let's play the Ouija board in the parking lot. Oh my God. Not even a full 10 seconds later, you guys, we start to approach this like brick wall and I feel this force behind me and I sh you not, I go flying over the brick wall. And I start hysterically crying because one, it hurts so bad, but I was so freaked out. Everyone around me, like Pam was like, what the? Like they saw me literally like fly over this thing. The Ouija board goes everywhere, like turns upside down. I swear to God, you guys, a ghost pushed me. Pushed me over this wall because my dog wouldn't just give up the Ouija board when they were trying to warn me the entire time. So I learned my lesson. But literally, y'all, look at this. This is like a week of healing. But you can like see how bad like this bruise is. The worst part about it, it doesn't look as gnarly, but my kneecap crunched over this wall. I don't know if you can see the bruise still. You still kind of can. Everything was freaked up. Like I couldn't walk right the next day. Like look at this bruise over here. Like gnarly. Oh, and I have like this bruise too from where my arm hit. Like you guys just saw my battle wounds. Like I swear to God. A spirit was pissed off at me. They knew I was about to go play the Ouija board in their parking lot and they were like, you're, you're, you're done here, go home. And I did, I quit after that. I definitely didn't want to play the Ouija board after that anymore. I couldn't even walk. And the funniest part about this is like, this was right outside of like the tour buses. So it was like tour bus, tour bus, like a clear pathway up to like where this brick wall is that I got pushed over. Fans were at the gate behind where you could like see all this happening. Apparently as I was falling, Pam and Chris told me the fans were like, ooh, ah, ooh. Saw me completely like each over the brick wall. If any of the fans have that on film, I would love to see it. So yeah, guys, that's my first ghost encounter. I didn't get to see a ghost, but I definitely felt the ghost. They definitely didn't like me, so that was lit. I'm probably never gonna do that again, but we're done with tour. To me, that was such a huge accomplishment, such a fun experience, like something I never thought that I'd get the chance to do. Let's roll with just a few clips of tour just because I really miss it a lot. Baby, tell me what you in it for. You would ten miss it with a four. She kick you when you down, only stress you out I know I can give you more You just try to chill and meditate But she be- Also guys, Chitty Bang has hit 10 million views In just, I think it's three or four weeks I am so thrilled, I worked so hard on Chitty Chitty is literally the most dope thing I've ever done And the thing I'm the most proud of so far So thank you guys so much for all the support I will never forget performing Chitty for you guys, like ever To be able to put all of my creativity and all of my just emotion into something and to see it do so well is like so so rewarding for me so thank you guys so much and with that being said that's all i have for today's video um i'm so happy to be home it's summertime tour is over i'm going to be working on so many new things including more vlogs for y'all so comment down below what you want to see i'll see you guys soon bye What's up, Costellers? Make sure you get some of this goat merch before it sells out. The two-piece matching collection is my absolute favorite. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.